Hey guys, what's up? So I'm already in the mall, but we have a really, really fun video today. So today we are going to be doing my very first ever luxury shopping vlog. So I'm really excited. I'm also really nervous to ask them like if I can film inside. Um, for reference, I am in Taiwan, so I'm going to be going to the flagship stores here in Taipei. And I have a very special guest. Uh... I don't think they can hear you. Say it louder. Oh, hi. So that's my friend Miguel. He's looking for a pair of shoes. So we are going to stop by first in Balenciaga. Okay, so we have the track shoes. We have the socks. We have all these nice little colorways. And we have this new Pyrex. Not Pyrex. What is this called? That's not the Pyrex. It's like the uh, adventure. I don't fucking know what it's called. It's the one with the thing. Okay, as you can see, there's a space between the heel and the actual heel of the shoe and he is looking to try on these speed runners so let's see if he likes them or not okay so he's trying on these speed runners not this colorway but we do have this interesting green uh the logo is all over the little kid ones we have another logo version the nude the black there's definitely a lot of different colorways here. I am very gravitated to this one, actually. She is a nice army green. I like this a lot. That is cute. She's a cute color. Not a fan. Upside down Balenciaga with the laces. I think there's just a lot going on here. You have this like perforated knit. It's like two-tone laces. It's just, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot to take in. Okay. Now these are the Speed 3.0. Um, how do we feel? I think they took this actual sock element to a new level. I did try these on in this arch. She is an arch. Okay, for my adventurous ladies, we do have this neon. It comes in the black, of course. Just a lot of different colorways to take in here. Look at this cute colorway for this track sneaker. This is, what is this? The track 2? Okay. It's got cutouts. I never actually knew that. I think this is actually quite a nice sneaker. Might have to try that on. We have this beautiful, I love this green and blue. I don't know why, but it's giving me like Nickelodeon vibes. Of course, the green that's Balenciaga ate up for the entirety of summer 2019. Again, same with the cutouts. It was white and yellow colorway. Okay, the audacity to charge upwards of $400 for these rubber slides. Oh, now here we have something interesting. Now this is a mule. I also might have to try that on. I do like the sneaker mule vibe that we have here. I think this is really interesting. Really, really interesting. Okay, different colorways. Okay, that's what it's called. It's the expander. So we have it in this yellow, this gray, and this black. So these come pre-faded. Um, it's a vibe. Size on the back. I don't know, I might have to try those on as well. All right, so here we have Miguel trying on the Balenciaga Speedrunners. These are a very classic shoe, very iconic um, in the black colorway. And this is me trying them on in the green. Honestly, quite comfortable. I did really like it, kind of want a pair for myself. This is me trying on the track mule. Oh my God, these are hideous. Um, if you think they're hideous in this frame, girl, try them on. My foot felt like it was gonna fall out. Honestly, just go for the track sneaker if you like the look. The mule is just not. It. I'm so sorry. I wanted to like it so bad. I wanted to. This is the expander, the one with the big heel that's like empty in the middle. Uh, I really wanted to like this shoe as well. Really, really, really did. But honestly, like I'm all for a fashion moment that's like really out there, but these were just ugly. Uh, and then this is Miguel trying on the Triple S, also a very classic shoe at this point. It honestly looks really good on him. Neither of us are really sneaker people, but we just kind of thought, oh, try it on, see if you like it. And honestly, it's a serve, it's a look, and I loved it. 
Hey you guys, so I'm editing this video and I'm kind of realizing I didn't really give any sort of indication as to where I was even going or what shoes I was trying on. Um, sorry, this is my first time filming a vlog, so I, I didn't really keep the camera running as much as I probably should have. But we were just at Balenciaga trying on, of course, the Speedrunner, the Triple S, the Track Mule, and the Expander. And now we are heading to Bottega Veneta to try on the Teddy Sherling slides and the Terry Cloth slides in green, um, as well as the Climber sneaker, which is like a sock shoe within a croc. Okay, so here we are at Bottega Veneta trying on the Teddy Sherling slides and the Terry Cloth slides. So I really like the Teddy Sherling slides, but the thing is, is that even though they have a rubber sole, the shirling, which is real, extends to the bottom of the shoe. So I feel like after like two or three wears, that is going to be a really nasty slipper. So honestly, I probably will pass on it. These are disgusting. Like, I get it. I see you. But take a Veneta, you know, like the weave. Okay, it's there. But these are so fucking ugly. Like, honestly, like these shoes, like we're talking a thousand dollars plus. Like, you cannot tell me that these look a cent over $11.99 like these are so ugly and that color oh my god okay so these are the climber shoes so these are like red blue green but so what's cool about them is the inside is a like it's like a sock shoe with a leather sole so it's completely removable and it's surrounded by this like rubber croc like situation okay um so it's kind of like a two-in-one and this is the color that miguel is going to be trying on it's white with like a gray blue knit Okay, so they're comfortable, they're cute, we can see them right here with this kind of like all black outfit and the white jacket, of course it matches. I tried them on myself and I do think they're comfortable, and if you're like really into this sort of like no soul kind of like barefoot vibe, they can be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I think they're, I think they're pretty comfortable. And here we got a little close up so you can see these like panels that are like held together by the string and then here we have the window for Prada's fall winter collection so we have this like super fine knit wool jacquard turtleneck situation very thin very layerable a very nice turtleneck for fall winter a nylon bag are we over it I am um these shoes wow you know, I thought Bottega Veneta had ugly shoes, but look at this. Look at her. Alright, look at her. That is... And they, they're cheap. They're cheap too. That shoe did not feel expensive. These ones, funny story. Um, I was looking at them and the sales associate was like, Oh, these are a part of our new collection. And I was like, girl, I don't care. These are ugly as hell. Like, what year is it? 2011? We don't need the Uggs to come back. We don't need this. These are ugly this sweater was really cute i really like the pattern it's kind of giving me the same vibes as versace's like la greca monogram situation and i really like how they took the prada triangle but they kind of put it on the back like kind of like if you know you know kind of thing uh, these gloves in theory very cute very nice colors a nice vibrant orange a nice purple but the pocket actually looks kind of stupid when you actually put the glove on, so probably won't get it. These sh Terry slides, I think they're Terry, but they're kind of like a faux shirling. They were really cute. They made more sense than the Bottega Veneto ones because the sole is like a thick rubber platform. So it separates like the shirling, teddy, whatever from the floor, which is great. And look at this nice pink little re-edition on my shoulder. I think it's a re-edition, could be wrong, I don't know. But I love the matching shoes and bag. Oh, and here we are at Louis Vuitton. So after Prada, we went to Louis Vuitton. Miguel tried on these Converse with like a holographic LV monogram. Here we can see these like see-through sneakers. The tongue is actually super thick, so you don't have to worry about like the plastic really hitting your foot being super uncomfortable. I think they're kind of cool. I want to try them on, but I was wearing white socks, so I was like, I'm not going to get the full effect. And here we have the like mirror monogram with like the fachetta leather details for that they're doing for fall winter. 
Um, and yeah, here you can see more of Miguel wearing these iconic shoes. Uh, he just wanted to try them on. I think they're cute, but they are a little bit flashy, a little bit new money, a little bit shouty, and yeah, I guess like for every day, they're not like that cute. They're a little tacky, let's be honest. They're a little bit tacky. And here I'm trying on these. I actually forgot about these. I tried them on so long ago and like I'm editing the video now, but like these were really cute because I am kind of looking for like this high top Converse situation. I really thought that the green and white like double lace thing they had going on was super cute. I thought it was comfortable. It was definitely a fit very nicely. I don't know why this is upside down. It won't be upside down when you watch it, but it's upside down when I'm watching it right now. And Okay, so I didn't really film any outro, but we did end up picking up a couple things. I got this really small thing from Fendi that I will be showing off. And this is something that Miguel got. It is a pair of shoes from Balenciaga. And I must say, I think they look pretty amazing on him. And these look pretty amazing on me. So... So yeah, thanks for watching. Yes, I did get a haircut. Yes, this intro is being filmed a few days after we went shopping, but the magic of editing will make it feel very seamless to all of you unknowing viewers. Um, and yeah, catch me next time. Today I'm actually planning on going to a certain store that I'm a big fan of and seeing what new things they have. So that'll be really fun and interesting, um, and I can't wait to show you what they have in the store.